Hi, it's Jim Filippi coming to you from the Filippi Law Firm. Today I'm going to talk to you about what happens when a conservator breaches their duty as a fiduciary over your estate. So if a conservator is not acting in the best interest of the conservatee, there are certain things that can be done, but first let's talk about what those two terms mean. A conservator is the person that actually is given the authority to manage that person's estate, and that person is the conservatee. So you have the conservator who takes care of the assets and the, and the issues for the conservatee. And that relationship between the two of them is called a fiduciary relationship. And what that simply means is that they have to do what's in the best interests of the person whom they're, they're helping. And it's much like the same type of relationship that I have with my clients, that a real estate agent has with their clients, that a doctor has with their patients. That fiduciary relationship requires that they do what's best for their client. And so in a situation, in, in all of those type of fiduciary relationships, if it's found that the person who is the conservator, the attorney, the real estate agent, if they're not doing what's best for their client or their patient, they can be sued by that person or by that person's family or someone in, you know, that has an interest in that estate. And what it is, is basically a breach of their duty as a fiduciary and whatever losses have occurred they'd be civilly liable for that so that takes care of the financial part of it but in a situation where there's a conservator that's been appointed that's doing some things that are improper uh, a petition can be made to the court to have that person removed and their powers uh, over that conservatorship uh, revoked and that's important obviously to take care of that first so whatever harm is being done is, is stopped as quickly as possible and then the lawsuit to recover whatever loss has occurred would happen sometime thereafter uh, but remember the first thing is in, in all of these situations is you should and hopefully trust the person you've named in your estate plan to take over your affairs because they're going to have significant power over your assets